back to my channel okay you guys so i just decided to do a quick intro a lot of times i do these cooking videos and everything without showing my face and i know sometimes you guys want to see my face and i also have a little bit of an update for you guys if you guys don't know if you don't follow me at keto for show you definitely need to do that also on my fashion channel if you don't follow me at lace and leopard you're missing out there as well so definitely follow me on both accounts but if you do follow me on Instagram, you know that I did go to Jamaica. And when I was in Jamaica, I definitely did not do keto. I didn't do low carb. I didn't do any of that, okay? So yes, I was eating all types of cocoa bread, regular bread, rice, and peas. You understand, like everything, like I didn't even know what keto was. Number one, I just want to let you guys know that I felt really bloated um, a lot of times I felt like I had stomach issues um, and I would try to not eat like as much as I could during the day um, to just let the food digest and then eat later on in the day if I could I really did try to do that because I've been eating keto for so freaking long or at least low carb for so long that when I introduced all that bread and all that stuff, my body was like, er, girl, what you doing? Okay. I would say that it was even like painful at some points. Like, oh gosh, my stomach is hurting. Like that food was so good, but now my stomach hurts. <laughs> and if you've cheated on keto, you already know about keto bloat. Like a lot of times my stomach was bloated. So I would try to take my pictures before I even ate anything. You know, it's just a lot. And I kind of feel like if I ever decided to quit keto, like will my body ever adjust all the way back to eating carbs like it was once before? Um, so yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I say all this to say basically um, when I got back, I was about 10 pounds up. So I don't know if that was all like fat gain or if that was a lot of water weight as well but the scale said 10 pounds up when I first got back um I've lost three of those pounds I believe three maybe three and some change so I'm up about six seven pounds which I don't think is bad for as much fun as I had and I've just fully enjoyed myself like I really don't regret it at all Okay, so that brings us to this video. Now, I asked you guys, would you be interested in seeing me eat like low carb tortillas and all of those type of things and see if I still lose weight? I thought that this was the perfect time to do that because I'm not in keto, I'm not like full fledged in it right now. And I feel like if I do the low carb tortillas right now, that will let anybody know that it's just kind of trying to start this or ease into it with using low carb products um, if it would actually work for them. So I'm deciding to do this maybe five days to a week of eating low carb either tortillas or low carb bread. There is a low carb bread that my mom bought for me. I think it's called Sola that tastes exact like regular bread and I have had it before and I actually lost weight um, while eating that bread I did not gain or anything like that so um, I don't know if I'll be mixing the low carb tortillas with um, the bread or if I'll just do all low carb tortillas for the rest of the week um, another thing is that instead of just the low carb flour tortillas like the mission carb balance I'm also going to incorporate um, Romero's corn tortillas you can find it at Stater Brothers and also at Walmart their corn tortillas is only five net carbs so like just regular they're not a uh, low carb they're not intended to be low carb they just are low carb so yes and it tastes like you just eat a regular corn tortilla shell because you are so definitely if you feel like you kind of want to have a little bit of ch a cheat a keto cheat or just want to be low carb in general you can definitely try those tortilla shells when you make um, your tacos and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to try the carb balance, a mix of the corn tortilla shells, and possibly um, the low carb bread. I'm not sure, but 
we will see. So I'm just gonna try a mix of those products to see if I still go down on the scale. Another thing that I think that I'm going to incorporate is Omad. Um, I'm thinking about doing just one meal a day, which I think will also offset the fact that I'm doing low carb tortilla shells. I'm not sure, it just depends on how I feel. I might do one meal a day plus two snacks. As the week progress, I will let you know. But anyway, that's enough talking. I just want to give you a quick update, let you know what is going on on with me how I'm feeling where I'm at and what I want to try out this week so if you want to see what I ate this week low carb style with tortillas and possibly bread please stay tuned hey loves so okay so today is Tuesday I decided to start on a Tuesday cuz just Monday wasn't the day okay <laughs> right now it is about 5 30 is 5 35 and um i have not ate anything yet i did have a cup of coffee and that's all i had all day um right now it's time for me to make dinner but i am literally i'm starving i almost feel like i have like a little bit of headache i don't know if it has to do with me not eating or if it has to do with what i ate yesterday because when i cheat sometimes you know my body just reacts i have a headache all kind of stuff so tonight i'm going to make chicken tacos i haven't made chicken tacos in forever and um yeah so i'm gonna use some boneless chicken thighs um and right now i'm just kind of in the process of cleaning my kitchen before i cook but i am hungry <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and just have like a handful of cashews i have a cup of water over there i'm gonna have the cashews and um a handful of cashews and the water just to hold me over while i wash the dishes and cook i got my dishes over here so i'm just gonna go ahead and clean up and i'll come back when i'm ready to work on my chicken okay so i'm gonna have about this much okay you guys so the kitchen is clean i'm gonna go ahead and start on this chicken um i don't think that i'm gonna make this whole pack i think i'm gonna just use half of it it looks like there's eight thighs in here so i think i'm gonna use four for tonight for the tacos and then the other four i think i'm going to keep until um tomorrow so that i can maybe make something different i'm not exactly sure but i think that's the direction i'm going to go in um as far as my seasoning i just have some adobo here i kind of forgot what adobo tastes like but i remember feeling like i like it and there's not a lot in here so i had to use it girl i don't remember <laughs> i have some garlic powder some regular salt and some pepper and then i have a little lori's um chicken fajita um packet here i'm just going to use a little um sprinkle of this just to give it you know a little bit of flavor um so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and wash my chicken off take the four thighs and then go ahead and give it a good chop okay you guys so here are our four chicken thighs i'm about to start cutting and i'm gonna try to hurry up as fast as possible you guys because i am hungry i didn't got distracted i think i let maybe like another almost hour go by because i think it's like 6 19 now so i am ready to eat I started helping my son with homework and stuff like that. <clears throat> I need a better knife. I want to chop this quick, honey. So anyway, while I do this, I just want to tell you guys really quick. Um, I was thinking about my intro video and even though like seven, eight pounds is, you know, it does show. I feel like when you are on keto, it appears sometimes to be even more like my face at the time had got really really round and i think that that it has a lot to do with inflammation in the body so i recall like a lot of times when i would cheat or go off of keto um it would appear to me like even though i might have went up 10 pounds to me it just felt like it was 15 or 20 pounds that's what it would feel like to me because of the inflammation in your body like my face would just instantly like i mean when i say bloat girl that face would just get so big so that's why like in my vlogs and stuff i was like oh look at my face it's chubby wubby but the moment i started eating back like low carb to kind of keto my face started getting 
smaller again and it wasn't that it was just like a, so much weight gain it was just that I was just inflamed so you know that's one thing with this diet it, it does especially if you do it for a while um if you're not fully dedicated on making it a complete lifestyle change um you know you could um when you do go off of it you have to deal with those type of things i feel like my body is so used to it that like when i do go off of it i don't feel very well and things of that sort so i mean of course i would like to stick to it 100 percent of the time but i'm also human and i like to live life and have a good time and travel and stuff like that and the last thing i want to be thinking about is how many cars i didn't eat like i'm sorry i'm just i'm not that person so keto police you can come at me if you want to but that's just you know that's not my style <laughs> But I do feel like the keto diet is, you know, it's beneficial um, and it's really helped me a lot. Um, it's just things that I still crave. Like one of my favorite foods in the world is cereal. Like literally, I think that I could probably live off of a variation of different kinds of cereal. Like, if I had to, I definitely could. I love the cereal. That's one of the main things I miss so much. I mean, like if I was just eating regular, I would probably have a bowl of cereal for my like dessert every single night. Cause that is my favorite. I love peanut butter Captain Crunch. I love cinnamon toast crunch. I love frosted flakes. I love Lucky Charms girl i could go on and on you understand i love cereal so yeah so i just wanted to say that really quick the inflammation sometimes can make it seem like your weight gain is much more but you know what's so funny is that when i was looking at my pictures i was like maybe it's also camera angles because i'm not used to vlogging so when i was vlogging camera was like really close on my face so I feel like it just was making it amplified like you know whatever information I was having it I felt like my face just looked really really chubby but anyway once I started taking pictures when I was getting back into the swing of things and taking pictures I feel like it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was like when I was looking at my face from afar like a normal distance I was like okay it, it got bigger a little bit maybe but not that bad people were even commenting on my my haul like did you lose weight i'm like lose weight girl i gained about six seven pounds but i need to get off real quick <laughs> but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and continue cutting this up i got one more left and we're gonna go ahead and get this seasoned up and in a pan to get this cooked because i am wrecked to eat you hear me and i'm not i don't have everything that i wanted to have i wanted to have like onion and cilantro but i think i might and then i kind of thought i wanted grilled onions with it give it like a little fajita type of taste but i don't even know if i want to do any of those things because i'm ready to eat now <laughs> so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and cut up this last one season it up and get this and get cooking. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this fajita seasoning. I'm not gonna do it like how it says on the instructions. I'm just adding it in there for some 
little container seasoning. Ow! And that pop. One thing I do wish I had was some taco stands. I think I'm going to order me some off of Amazon. Throw my tacos be leaning to the side, okay? I don't know if I'm going to show you guys every time I make a meal. Because this video will be extra long. Maybe every other day. I don't know. We'll see. But it's looking good and it's smelling even better. Okay, so a tiny bit of onion here. And here is our chicken. Oh my god. It tastes so dang on good and tender. Juicy. Seasoned to perfection. Girl. Guy. Anybody. Bomb. Okay, so these are pretty much softened up. So next I'm going to go ahead and fry up our shells. These are the shells that I was telling you about. These are Romero's corn tortilla shells. Like I said, they don't say low carb or anything like that. But on the back of them, as you can see, they have six total carbohydrates for one tortilla. And then it has one dietary fiber. So it's five net carbs for one of these. So bomb, okay? Definitely, I don't know why I didn't see a lot of people using these. And I remember using them one time and looking not even using them for low carb but i just looked at the back i was like why are these only five carbs you know so anyway long story short get these i got them you can get them at stater brothers that i know so far and also at walmart okay so using the same pan i'm gonna go ahead and fry up our shells i'm gonna eat three tacos and that is the reason why i did not eat today really uh just a snack water coffee um again you guys i'm not following keto strict keto this is kind of a low carb thing that i'm showing you guys to try to do an experiment to see if this works so um yeah the shells alone is about 15 carbs so i'm trying to keep my carbs probably at between um mm, thir between 30 and 50 that is still considered low carb. I think up until like almost 100 carbs is still considered low carb because the Western diet is so carb loaded that even 100 carbs is considered low. <laughs> so, yeah. Y'all, I keep snacking on this chicken. This chicken is so good. Oh my goodness, and I never made it like that. It's bomb.
okay guys so here is my meal for day one fajita tacos chicken seasoned tender bomb got some cheese sour cream and lime i do wish i had a little bit of cilantro add some greenery in there but you know fajitas you don't really technically have to have like lettuce and stuff like that it's more like grilled onions and peppers and stuff but i can't wait to dig in you understand so i'm either gonna have it with some water or maybe um i do have some like lemonade some diet lemonade and tea so maybe i'll do that as well but this is day one tuesday okay you guys so it is the next day and oh my goodness i just have to say really quick those tacos were the best tacos i ever made in my entire life ever best chicken tacos ever okay they were so tender so juicy like when my son tasted his tacos he literally hugged me okay <laughs> that's how much he liked them they were so flavorful and so freaking good so okay i had to tell you guys that so definitely try those tacos out and, and try it with thigh meat if you do like thigh meat because it is more juicier not as dry as breast i've recently made that transition myself um at first i was like oh i don't like thigh meat uh -uh, i only do chicken breast but recently i just started changing it to boneless um thigh meat and it was it's just been so much better like the recipes that i've been making so definitely consider that so it's about 10 30 between 10 and 10 30 right now let me see oh wait a minute it's not 10 i'm tripping okay so it's 12 04 so i've been doing pretty good i just started getting hungry now so i'm going to have a cup of coffee so this is just how I did yesterday as soon as I got hungry I made some coffee so I'm gonna sip on this I'm also gonna prepare the rest of the chicken thighs that I had last night um, to, for whatever recipe I end up making tonight and I'm not exactly sure 100% what I'm gonna make but yes so I just have a little bit of heavy whipping cream in here and then also um, some whipped cream and the whipped cream melted so that's what's on top and um, what else did I want to say oh also, I got on the scale this morning. I wasn't really supposed to. I was going to probably try to wait. I don't know if I'm going to do a daily, but I was down 1.2 pounds today. So, yeah. Okay, you guys. So, I cut up my chicken already. I just did it exactly how I did it yesterday. Um, and I seasoned it up and put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the refrigerator until later. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do a chicken bacon ranch type of quesadilla i'm not exactly sure yet but that's what i'm leaning towards so um in addition to the chicken i just went ahead and pre-cut up the bacon as well this is four slices that i just cut up into pieces okay guys so now it is 5 41 and i am completely starving i'm so freaking hungry like you don't even understand i'm really hungry i'm done with work um and i have these frozen blueberries i don't know if you guys have tried this but if you're doing like low carb or whatever not keto because i mean you could have a little bit of blueberries on keto but just watch it because they are a little bit higher in carb content um just give them a good wash and put them in the freezer and they are such a delicious treat especially if you get them kind of sweet oh my gosh they're so good so i'm gonna get a couple of these and then um a little less than a handful of cashews and that's what I'm gonna eat while I make dinner um, I'm not gonna go really in-depth on dinner today because I did yesterday so I don't want to make this video too long but um, I'll show you some snippets as I'm cooking but again I'm gonna make a chicken bacon ranch quesadilla actually I might change the dressing to something other than ranch I have this Ken's Steakhouse garlic parmesan and I remember this being pretty dang on tasty so I was thinking like okay chicken bacon garlic parmesan mix that all together throw that in a quesadilla and it can either be like a little wrap with some lettuce inside of it um, but I think I'm gonna make it into a quesadilla so yeah I think I'm gonna use this with the chicken bacon and a little bit of cheese and then this will be my snack the blueberries and some cashews y'all and just FYI I normally do not like blueberries just on its own like like the processed blueberries just like instead of muffins and pancakes I can tolerate but 
normally just eating blueberries this is not my thing but it's something about them being frozen that just makes them so delicious so for anybody that doesn't like blueberries really like me I think that you would really like it try it frozen Okay, so our chicken and bacon is cooked. I just kind of just put the bacon right on top of the chicken. And I just gave it a small dice, the chicken, so it's not so, you know, big. Just made them a little bit smaller. And now I'm going to add a little bit of the Parmesan dressing. I decided to just go ahead and go with the Parmesan garlic. I don't want it soupy or anything. I'm doing all this with one hand. I don't want it soupy or anything. I just kind of wanted to bind it together. I don't want it to, oh, shoot. <laughs> Girl, I'm over here looking at the camera and it's just I'm trying to do this with one hand. Let's see. Try to give it a good mix so we can see what the texture is. Hold on. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. I feel like it should be enough. I don't want to put too much. I'm just add a little bit. A little bit more. Okay. I'm going to mix this up. The reason I don't want too much is because you know, I just don't want it to overpower the chicken flavor and the bacon. All oh, the chicken is flavored bomb. I just seasoned it with the same that I did yesterday, which was the adobo, garlic, salt, and pepper. I'm going to use this deluxe white American cheese as my cheese that goes inside of my quesadilla. Um, this has less than one carb per slice. So I'm just going to go ahead and assemble my quesadilla and I'll be back. Okay you guys, so I saw an idea about um, making like a double quesadilla. So instead of having um, it flipped in half, so you have one at the bottom with your cheese and whatever your filling is and you put another tortilla on top and then you fry it up and then cut it up. So I'm going to definitely try that. Um, since again I haven't ate really all day and I'm doing about 30 to 50 carbs um, each one of these carb balanced tortillas are four net carbs so for two of these tortillas that will be eight and then um, the cheese will be um, less than one carb per slice and then of course we got the meat and stuff so the the meat should be zero and then the dressing is one carb per two tablespoons so yes I'm gonna go ahead and put my filling in there and then I'm gonna go ahead and top it with another tortilla This is what it's looking like. I hope that this comes out okay. It worked for the other people, so we will see. Okay, so I couldn't show myself flipping it because I had to fully concentrate. Some of the meat did come out, but it was easy to just stick it back in there. And it's looking nice and golden brown. I've never seen anybody do a quesadilla like this. I've always seen it in half. When I saw it, I was like, oh, that is a smart idea. Let me just go ahead and cut it up. Okay, guys. This is what it's looking like. I'm going to let it rest for like a minute or so. Then I'm going to go ahead and cut it up and eat it up. Okay you guys, so here is the finished meal. I think I'm just gonna have this with some water because I believe that's all I have. But it looks dang all good if I do say so myself. Let me show you. Let me pick it up so you guys can see how this double quesadilla looks. This is what it looks like. 
I'm still trying to decide if I need to have sour cream or anything like that. But let me just go ahead. I'm going to taste it. You can see. I'm going to leave the crispy ones for last. They look the best. But I was too scared to try to reflip this. I was like, eh, eh. So let's taste it. Mmm, 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 y'all this is bomb, boy, mmm, really, really good guys. Okay, you guys, so I did not have my coffee this morning because I got up and out to do a bunch of errands and stuff. Um, so I've been pretty busy. I haven't ate anything just yet. It is 11.54, so it is almost noon. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and get me some coffee or maybe some tea. I was looking at some videos trying to see if like some keto or low-carb drinks that I can uh, try out and um somebody had did um a review on this like peach tea that it was supposedly really really good so i think i'm gonna give that one a try so i'm gonna drive through now then i got some more errands to do after this so i just want something really quick and good to drink okay so i'm gonna have it's gonna show a grande custom tea because we don't have the white tea button anymore okay so i have that grande white tea it's gonna have no cane sugar sugar free vanilla no water, heavy cream, and the two stevias on the side. Perfect. Okay, thanks so much. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so this is what it's looking like, you guys. They said that they were going to discontinue the white tea. Um, I think Starbucks is going to discontinue it in general. I'm not sure, but she said they still carry it for right now. So that's why it just says Grande Custom Iced Tea. But it's a Grande White Iced Tea with um, no liquid cane sugar and sugar-free vanilla, heavy whipping cream, no water, and two stevia. So, let's go ahead and give this one a taste. Let's see. Wow, you guys. That tastes pretty dang on good. I like it. And I just want to let you guys know, I got on the scale and I was down another two pounds. So I was very excited about that. I was actually kind of nervous because I felt like the quesadilla seemed like a lot. But then when I really think about it, I'm only eating once a day. So yeah, even though it might appear to be a lot, it's really not in the grand scheme of things when you really think about it. So yes, this is what I'm having. I'm going to do some errands and stuff and get some work done. And then I'll be back when I decide what I'm going to have for my meal today. Okay, you guys, so the time is now 6.30 and it is time for me to eat some dinner. I wanted to eat by now, but I ended up taking a nap. I was tired, so I took like an hour nap and then I handled some work things. And now I'm just now getting a chance to try to eat. But I have some dishes to wash and in the meantime, I am hungry. I'm really hungry. So I'm just going to again snack on the cashews and then I'm going to add a couple of these frozen strawberries. Like these frozen strawberries have been coming in handy, okay? It's kind of helping with a little bit of a sweet tooth. So I'm really liking that. So I'm just going to add a few of those. This is what I'm going to snack on really quick while I clean up the kitchen. Um, so I decided to go ahead and do um, like a wrap, like a bacon, like a BLT. But instead of bacon, lettuce, and tomato, it's going to be bacon, lettuce, and turkey. So um, that is what I plan to do today. Something really simple. I don't feel like cooking a whole bunch of stuff. This is what I've had in mind all day today. So that is what I'm going to have. The tortillas are pretty small, so I might do like two mini ones because once you wrap it up, it'll be really tiny and I just don't feel like one of them will hold me. So I'll probably do two of them. And yeah, so hopefully I will get to eating dinner about 7 p.m. But this is my little snack right before. Okay, so the time is 7.10 now and kitchen is clean and I got everything out ready for my wraps. This is everything that I'm going to use. So first up... So first off, I have the carb balanced tortillas. Um, I have some mayo, mustard, salt, and pepper. 
Um, the meat that I'm going to be using is um, the oven roasted turkey breast from Hillshire Farm. And the cheese is the white American deluxe cheese. This is less than one car per serving. Um, the turkey here is two carbs for two ounces. And I have some salad here, a chopped salad kit that I got from Walmart that I'm going to use for my vegetables. And I'm going to add like a sprinkle of some crispy onions. I absolutely love crispy onions. So I'm going to add just a little bit of that. Um, it is about, it's three carbs for a tablespoon and a half. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that. And then I have two slices of bacon here that um, I went ahead and chopped up and fried up. Y'all, and after all that shopping, why did I not even realize that I had this in the refrigerator? And this is so freaking good. This is one of the best honey mustards ever by Brianna. And this one actually has one carb less than the one that I was going to use. It's five carbs per serving and it also has five sugars. So it's one less than the sugars and it's one less than the carbs. So let's go ahead and assemble these wraps. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to try to roll another one, but I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because that one was pretty hard to fold. These are the soft shell size, so you can't overstuff them and inspect them to roll. But that looks pretty dang on good. Like, it's about to be bomb. And I forgot my honey mustard on, the, on that one I just rolled because I was trying to concentrate on how to roll it. I forgot my dang on honey mustard, so I'm gonna just put a little bit on the side to, you know, drizzle on there if it gets dry or if I just want that taste. I'm gonna go ahead and put the dressing before I forget. Put some of that on there right now. Oh my gosh, it's a cool little drizzle. Let's try. Okay, so this one rolled a little better. I feel like this one I'm gonna have to hold it more like a taco. This is what it's looking like. Yeah, in there. Mm -mm -mm. I'm debating. I don't know if I should have got two. I don't know. I'll see. If I'm gonna eat the bigger one first and um. If I get full, then I'm going to give the other one to my son. He said he didn't want this tonight. He wanted something else. So, but he hasn't ate his something else yet. So, if he doesn't eat his something else and I'm full, then I'm going to give him the other one and tell him, like, look, this is what you're going to be eating tonight. <laughs> um, another thing that I got to go on the side of the wrap are these barbecue protein chips from Quest. I have not tasted these at all. I have no idea if they're good or not. So let me just try to do that right now with y'all. Okay, so this is what the chip looks like. Let's see. Now these taste pretty dang on good and they should for $2.50 for one bag. <clears throat> so 
is what you get on the inside. So the chip started about right here. It's just a bunch of air in there. And that's what you get for $2.50. I got them from Walmart in the diet section. And they taste pretty good. I want to say I tried the sour cream and onion. And I didn't like it as much as this. I feel like this has a better like flavor. And it might be just the barbecue is more, um, what's that called? Like just more flavorful than the sour cream and onion. But it, it tastes pretty dang on good. I'm not gonna complain. So I'm gonna have these chips on the side here. Okay, you guys, and this is my dinner. Bacon, lettuce, and turkey wrap with some Quest barbecue chips. Let me try to pick this up so you guys can see a little bit. So yes, you guys, this is my dinner. A bacon, lettuce, and turkey wrap looking delicious with some barbecue Quest chips. And this is Thursday. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, make these kind of into like some fajita shrimp. I'm going to just pan fry them and add a little bit of this seasoning. I also have some adobo, so I'm gonna add a little bit of that because it ended up tasting really, really good when I did it with the chicken. So I'm gonna try it again with the shrimp. And I think I'm just gonna do like a coleslaw topping with, um, with the mayonnaise lime you know sauce so yeah let me go ahead and get my pan out and get to frying these up Okay, you guys, so here I am just mixing, I'm trying to do everything with one hand, but I just have like some regular bad coleslaw and I'm putting a little bit of my sauce. And what I'm gonna do is layer, I got some shells here. I'm gonna go ahead and layer it with the shrimp, a little bit of a drizzle of some sauce and then top it with some cold, crispy coleslaw. And here are my shrimp fajita tacos with coleslaw. Bomb. I hope this has a really good crunch because of the coleslaw and everything. So let me go ahead and give these a try. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Mm. Oh my goodness. So good, you guys. Mmm. Okay. I actually feel like I don't miss out on having the beer batter fried tacos. I have my mind set on it, but this tastes so good. So, yes, this is my meal for tonight. 
Okay, you guys, so I am about to make my at-home chai tea. Remember, I made my tea yesterday, so here it is in a cup, nice and chilled, been in there overnight. So I'll have my same Starbucks cup, I washed it out, and got some ice cubes in there, so I'm going to go ahead and pour in my chai tea. Next, I'm gonna pour me in some heavy whipping cream. Okay, give that a stir. Mm. Looking good. Next, we're gonna add uh, some sugar-free vanilla. This is by Tarani. going to add a little bit of cinnamon and if you want some extra sweetness hopefully this is sweet enough if you want some extra sweetness you can add some stevia in here but yes this is my chai tea at home Mmm, it's good. I'm just going to add a little bit of sweetener in there, but the taste is amazing. Y'all, I added a little bit of powdered sweetener, just a little bit, maybe like one packet or two packets worth. And this is delicious. It has me thinking about getting some white tea, trying to figure out where I can get me some, probably on Amazon, and trying it out with white tea. Very, very good. Okay, you guys, I don't know if you remember this video or not, but if you don't, make sure you check it out. Um, this is what I'll be using today. It's some Philly cheesesteak meat that I got from Walmart. I am grilling some onions. They are pretty much done right now. And instead of putting them in a flour tortilla, I'm going to make little mini taco quesadillas. So I'm just going to put them in a corn shell and then I'm going to melt it with cheese and do it that way instead. I am noticing that when I did, um, even though I'm going down with eating the flour tortillas, I do feel a little less inflamed. I do still have a little bit of bloating um, with the flour tortillas. Um, and I'm not sure because I did have a piece of, I forgot to tell you this, I had a piece of sugar-free candy so that could have caused the bloat as well. So I'm not sure if it was the flour or if it was the candy, but I'm just going to stick with the corn tortillas tonight. Okay, so what I like about this, it's getting a little smoky in here, y'all. So my vent went out in my kitchen. I'm sad. I gotta get it fixed. But what I like about this is that it cooks so freaking fast. Five minutes. Five minutes. So two minutes on one side, two minutes on the other side, and then you break it up and cook it for another minute. So I'm going to add our onions back in here. Yummy! And I'm going to fill this um, in the corn tortilla shells with some cheese and have a Philly cheesesteak taco milk. Okay you guys, so I don't have my camera set up. I'm just doing this with my hand because I had a lot to do today, so I'm just winging it, trying to do everything. So I don't know if I'll be able to show you every single thing, but these are my two um, shells. Here is my meat, and then this is the cheese that I'll be using. Um, I'm going to lay like a half a slice in there and then um, put in my meat and then melt it on down just like a traditional quesadilla, but there'll be many ones. Okay, so these were pretty hard to flip, um, but I think I got it. The cheese is oozing out, but I do like my cheese to kind of have a like, burnt little crispy goldenness to it. I don't know if this cheese will do that or if it's more like a melty cheese. 
so we will see but that is two tacos there and I think I have enough for one more so yes it actually ended up being the perfect amount because I wanted to have three of these little mini tacos and um, the ounces I think this is four ounces of meat if I'm not mistaken Okay, you guys, and here are our mini Philly cheesesteak quesadilla tacos. Oh my goodness, these look so good and crispy. And like I told you guys, I really love that like crispy cheese on the outside and whatever was kind of spilling over. I live for that crunch, okay? And I actually got this idea from my cousin because she was telling me that she uses taco shells and then she'll just put a slice of cheese in there and make it into like a crispy quesadilla and I was like what and she's like I sprinkle a little bit of salt on top too I was like what I've never heard of that in my life so soon as she told me about it I went home and made it this was some time ago I went home and made it and it was so delicious and I was like why have I never tried to do a quesadilla type of anything with a corn shell I'm just been programmed to do it with a flour shell so yes I definitely wanted to try this out and yeah it looks delicious so let me go ahead and give one of these a try mmm oh these is hot oh they hot girl okay and I got some um sour cream on the side oh it's hot Okay, maybe I should do this one. I think one of these I sat down there first. Hold on, let's see. I don't know this is hot. Okay, we got our melted cheese, our steak, onions, sour cream. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all... This is so good. It's a different type of taste than the other one. I like the other one, but I like this too. Y'all. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Y'all need to try this. I'm about to get off this video, finish this meal. But you definitely, definitely need to try this. So freaking good. Good morning, you guys. So I forgot to update you yesterday, but as far as my weight, I had went back down like 0.5 the, or 0.4, whatever I had went up. Whenever the, the day that I had went up, I went back down pretty much. And um, back to the previous weight that I was almost I think to the exact number today when I woke up um, this is the morning after the Philly cheesesteak tacos I'm down almost two pounds so altogether I would say I don't remember what my starting weight was exactly but I would say that I'm down about five pounds already so yeah I'm excited about that <laughs> If I'm sounding sleepy, it's because I am. It is like the crack of dawn. The only thing I'm worried about today is my mom's birthday. Um, I thought it, the party was yesterday. It was going to be yesterday, but it's today. So they're going to have all kind of barbecue, all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to be traveling to LA. I just don't know how I'm going to do. So um, I'm contemplating and in the video here, you know, but... I don't know we'll see yeah if I veer off too heavily I hope not to but it is my mom's celebration and if I veer off too much you know I just don't want to really have <laughs> a part of this video so we will see but anyway also yesterday I just want to say this really quick yesterday I did kind of cheat and I still went down you guys I just want to let you guys know this for encouragement just in case you do cheat and stuff like that that doesn't mean cheat your entire day and just oh I messed up so I'm just gonna just go crazy and then start tomorrow don't do that because I had that mentality so many times and 
and I've, I've messed myself up with that type of mentality so now what I try to do is if I mess up that doesn't mean that I need to mess up the entire day I can try to balance it out so my mom really loves candy so I bought her like two pounds of seized candy <laughs> um, and while I was there I was like oh my gosh I could not not have any seized candy I can't but I was like okay let me just be reasonable. Let me be reasonable. Let me treat this like a lifestyle. Let me not go crazy. So I got two pieces of California Brittle. That's what I had yesterday. And then I had some tea. And then I had the tacos. So that's all I had. I had the two pieces of candy, the tea, and some tacos. And I was still down about... I think 1.8 pounds or almost two pounds basically okay you guys so I decided to go ahead and end the video here because I didn't necessarily do low carb at the celebration and I didn't necessarily do low carb tortillas and that's what this video is about I did do good at the um, celebration though I just had barbecue and I brought some low carb bread but I just didn't record properly so I just decided to go ahead and end the video here my last tortilla meal and yes I did lose weight at the end of this I think that this was my fifth day I believe fourth or fifth day and I ended up losing five point four pounds so I'm definitely glad that I did this experiment to show that you can still lose weight doing um low carb tortillas or using low carb tortillas given I did also um, combine it with OMAD so definitely keep that in mind as well and I also went into it not necessarily on ketosis so also keep that in mind but I'm very glad that I did this experiment and I hope that this could help you guys in some type of way maybe you found Romero's um, taco shells for the first time or maybe you just want to try it out yourself to see if you would lose weight I hope this was helpful and if it was don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and until my next video have a blessed day have a blessed week and i'll see you in my next one bye